to see that this is what they were going to be doing their mouth and dry. But this is what we're going to be doing is invisible curves. So that is what we're going to be focusing on today. Involute curves. Now, what is an involute? Now, if you think about that gig, some of you might have made gig in the past. So a gig is that little you know wood object that has a nail in it. And then now with that gig, you will wrap around you know that gig with a piece of cord. Now when you use a cord and you actually send out the gig, unwind the gig on the tension, then what would be formed is an involute. That is a curve that will be formed. The path that that cord takes would actually be what an involute is, the locus of an involute. So what is an involute? An involute of any plane figure is a locus of a point on a line rolled around the figure without sliding. So you want to think about that figure, that, that, that the locus of a point that is rolled around that figure without sliding. So when you actually say no again, then of course the tension on that cord is what going to allow you to formulate an involute. So today we're going to be doing the involute of a square and we're also going to be doing the involute of a circle. So those are the two things that we're going to be drawing. The involute of a square and the involute of a circle. Now let us say that your square, the side of your square is going to be 25 millimeter. So if one side is 25 millimeter, then gentlemen, then certainly it is very easy for you to construct your square. So that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be constructing our square. So we're going to be letting one side be 20. So we're going to be constructing our square. Labeling is very important, so we're going to call here A, and then we have B, C, and this is going to be E. So imagine that we have a cord that is wrapped around our square here, and we're going to be rolling that cord out with some measure of tension. Now, simply put, we're going to be extending our B, C line. We're going to be extending our B, C line. So we would have extended our BC line right here. We're also going to be extending our AB line. We extend our AB line. We're also going to be extending our AB line. Now this is one of the simplest drawing series that you would have been doing. So no need to worry. Now having done that, I am going to be rolling out now. So if I go to C and open to D, then I'm going to be rolling out. So from C to D, you notice that? So this would be like the radius of the circle. Then if I open from B, and we could call this point E. So this point could be referred to as D. 
So if I open from B to point E, and then I could call this point F, and then if I open from A to F, oh, that we have enough from the pump up here. Yes, A to F, then okay, so it is ready now the board. So you notice here that it would have completed our involute. So this point here now, A, B, C, D, F, so this point is referred to as G. And our involute would be somewhere around by G here. So this would be just ladies and gentlemen, the involute of a square. So we expect it to complete this joint. So an important point to note, notice that you're rolling it out. So this would be like R, which is the radius. This would be 2R, and then over here would be 3R. Alright? So this is the involute of a square. Now, what we're going to be doing next is the involute of a circle.